I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no treble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no treble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass.
Hey friends. Good morning everybody who's out there live with me right now. I'm M.E. Kennedy, UNME Fitness. Today my class for you is Strong AF Butts and Guts. We're going to work the lower body, the core. It's going to be amazing. You don't need any equipment today. Now if you want to add a little bit extra, there are a couple of rounds, a couple of exercises where we're going to hold on to something. So it doesn't have to be a weighted something, but if you have a med ball, or if you want to grab a dumbbell or a kettlebell or even just a pillow so you've got something it'll make sense when we get there i promise also if you've got these the loop resistance bands there are a couple of things that these will add a little extra spice so go ahead and run and grab that if you want have those items close by we'll get class started in just a few seconds also definitely make sure you have water be right back If you're just tuning in, I'm M.E. Kennedy, UNME Fitness. Today's class is Strong AF, Butts and Guts. Let's start with a warm-up, little torso twist here. Lifting the heels, turning side to side, warming up the core and the spine right here. No big deal. So if you missed my speech a couple seconds ago, we don't need any equipment today. There are a few things you might want, so if you didn't grab those already, that's okay. You don't need them. If you wanna run out and grab them, a med ball or some kind of weight or even just a pillow to hold on to or a loop resistance band, those short bands, like the continuous, whoop, this guy, if you have those. I've got a few exercises that that'll add a little extra. So stretching out the adductors right here. Come down a little bit lower than you did just a second ago, if that feels good. And switch it again. All right, and come up. Step your feet right outside, hip distance apart. Stand up tall, roll the shoulders back, lift your chest, draw your belly in, embrace hard through the core. Nice and easy squats, just about halfway down. You're about to sit in an invisible chair. Let's hit that full range down a little bit lower. Stop your booty right above the knee line. Push the floor away through those heels. Let's follow the beat down, down, up, up, down. Two, push the floor away. Oh yeah. One more like that. And let's go heel toe out, same deal. We're just targeting the glutes a little bit more than we were just a second ago. We're warming up those legs, getting that lower body ready for action. We are gonna hit our legs a bit. Down, up, up, but don't worry, we're not gonna do a bunch of squats like this. Just getting them for that warm up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Big squeeze in the booty at the top. Two more like this. Last time. Now we're gonna heel toe out one more time into an even wider stance. Squats. Again. So now this wider stance is targeting the whole posterior chain. Hamstrings, glutes, 
lower back. Get it all nice and warm. Oh yes. Couple more. Down, two, up, and step. Step in, feet right under the hips. Long step back. Stand up nice and tall. Let's go for some lunges. Are you ready? Here we go. Just a few each leg. So both knees at 90 degrees. Shoulders stacked over hips. Front knee stacked over the ankle. Two more. One. Now let's step it in. Long step back with the other leg. Stand up tall and lunge. Think about balancing on train tracks. Not a tight rope. A little bit of space between those feet. Two. Couple more. Oh yes. Woo. So shake those stems. Here's the format. We're gonna set a timer for four minutes. We're gonna cycle through three different things. 10 reps each. Now you can pick a different magic number if you want, but a lot of these rounds, we have one side and then the other side. So just be mindful of, oh, how many did I do on that side? How much time do I have left to hit the other, right? So stick with your 10 if you want. You can drop down to eight, you can go up to 12, you can do 15. It's your workout. Well, let's do this. So up first, here's where if you have a weight, if you wanna grab a kettlebell or a med ball or even just a pillow so that it doesn't feel like I'm moving my arms and not holding anything and that that feels odd, <laughs> go ahead and grab that object. It's a flat back pullover. So I want you to really focus on keeping the lower back down on the floor. A lot of times we arch our back and of course I've got a knot in my cute little top today. <laughs> Pressing that lower back down to the floor. Don't let it arch. Now, you're gonna take your object, whether it's a pillow or a weight, up overhead. You're gonna lift your upper body, don't move your arms yet, into a crunch, like you're about to do a crunch. Don't stick your chin or your neck way out. Chin is tucked, shoulders are relaxed. You're gonna hold that crunch that whole time, that position, and just move the arms up and over. Your second exercise is a reverse crunch lift. So you're gonna stay in that position, drop the weight, and you're gonna go knees in, feet up, lower down with control. Then our third is a Russian twist. So same deal, sometimes it just feels good to have something in your hand. Sorry, I've got like my floor falling apart. Basement floor, lift your feet if you're feeling good. Two, three, there's your reps. Just moving hip to hip with your ball, your weight, or empty hands is fine. Let's get started, ready, set, and go. So the flat back pullover is up first. Remember what I said? Pull back on the floor. Lift up. Move those arms. One, two. Oh yeah. So you find your own tempo, the pace that feels right for you. Woo -hoo. Crushing those abs, staying in that crunch position. Sliding the ribs toward the hips. Now after this one, remember we had that reverse crunch lift. You're just gonna drop your weight or whatever you got in your hands. Arms at your sides, knees in, feet up, lower down with control. So we're aiming for 45 degrees or lower as you come down. Options, don't come down so low, right? You can do a little one. Or you can even just bend the knees on the way down, tap the toes on the floor. Woohoo, yes. Watch that back, try not to let that lower back arch. Ooh, it's one of those things a lot of us do naturally without thinking about it. Control it. Oh yeah. Woo! Your Russian twist was your number three. I know some of you are probably moving faster than I am. So if you wanted to hold on to something, and that can be a dumbbell, a kettlebell, a med ball, a pillow, or you don't have to hold anything at all. Options here, one leg at a time, just alternate, or even keep them on the floor to drop that intensity down. After you get your three done, you're back to your pullover. And right now, we're a minute and 37 seconds in. Not quite halfway through this block of work. Oh yes. On that pullover, you're in that crunch position. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Chin is tucked, careful not to stick it forward. Slide the ribs toward the hips. Your eyes should be looking between your thighs. Oh yes. 
Then you've got your reverse crunch lift combination after this one. Ooh, -hoo. I always lose count. Because <laughs> I'm always talking, right? Woo! And that's okay if you lose count, just keep moving. Try to keep the same number going. This is not one of those sets, obviously, where we have to even out, you know, a certain number of reps on both sides. So it's all good. You can do more, more of these than Russian twists. We're at 234. Hey, woo! Russian twists are after your reverse crunch lift combination, which you probably know. So I feel like I'm moving slow today, too. Three, four, oh yeah, woo! Is your belly on fire yet? And we're in our last minute. Let's make it count. So if you were doing the easier version up until now, easier version of anything, let's try to crank it up a notch. Give it a try take things down as needed. There are always those modifications and there's nothing wrong with sticking with them. I just want you to move. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. Ooh, 25 seconds to go. We got this, no big deal. Oh yeah, 12 seconds. I think I'm on three, four. I'm just gonna do half and then get a few Russian twists in. Just a few more seconds, team, come on, get it. Three, two, one, and take a rest. Woo. Stretch things out if you need to. Get a couple of these like we did in the warm up. Do some reaches over. Reach up, if you're still on the floor, you can just lie down and reach your arms up overhead, legs out straight. Oh yeah, nice job. Next set, we're gonna do a standing leg lift. So here's where you can use your resistance band if you've got one. If you don't, don't worry about it. Definitely don't need it. You're gonna stand up nice and tall, hands on your hips, or you can take them out for balance and you're gonna just lift one leg. 10, right? So it's a balance exercise. We're also really working that booty, right? You're probably gonna be a little, little bit here too. So if you do have the band, you're gonna put that around your ankles and feel the difference. So you're gonna hit one leg, other leg, and then we've got a butterfly booty boost. You're gonna lie down, drop your knees out to the sides, the bottoms of your feet are touching, and you're gonna lift and squeeze. Oh yes, feeling that already. So let's do it. Get set up for your standing leg lift. If you wanna use the band, go for it. Put it around the ankles, stand tall. Get ready, get set, and here we go. So 10 reps on each side. Oh yes. Whoop. Hold on to something. <laughs> if you're feeling wobbly. Oh yes, and some of us are gonna get better range if we're holding on to something, right? Because we're not worried about the balance portion. So if you have a chair or the back of your couch, anything close by, your vents like I just grabbed onto. <laughs> oh yes. Feeling that burn. Ow! So make sure you get the same number on each side and then you're gonna come down for your number three exercise that butterfly booty boost and you can leave the band if you've got the band you don't have to take it off because it's not gonna do anything for this and you're dropping those knees out lift high pulse at the top squeeze those glutes four three Ooh, yeah and then you're just gonna start over. So the good thing about that butterfly is it moves pretty fast, right? Ooh, yes. Excited about these leg lifts. I do these all the time, the supine, the lying down version. 
So it's different to do them like this. Especially if you've got that band, oh yeah. You feeling that? You don't have to lift very far. You're gonna feel that burn. That side boot, booty, side glute action. Woo! Little shakes in between if you need them, friends. We are almost halfway through this block of work. Big, big booty. That's what we're working at. That's what we're working toward. Ooh! More than halfway there, team. You get each leg. Ooh! Ouch! And then we've got that butterfly. Two minutes, 20 seconds in, minute 40 left. Oh yes. Big lift, big squeeze. Pulse it at the top on that butterfly. Oh yeah. Woo, we should definitely be feeling a burn by now. You got one minute, 15 seconds to go. I'm gonna count more carefully this round. <laughs> oh yeah. Last minute. Woo! So think about that. We've got 50 seconds to go. I know these are moving pretty quickly, so you're probably gonna be just fine wherever you are, but stay focused on the fact that you've got less than a minute to go. 40 seconds. Ooh, 30 seconds. So again, make sure you're just getting the same number of reps on each side. 25 seconds. Try to keep shouting it out. <sighs> 15 seconds. Woo, yeah. 10. I'm just gonna stay here. Cause I don't have enough time to get up and do more leg lifts. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah, is all of this on fire? Hey, you're welcome. Oh my goodness, take that rest. Give things a quick stretch if you need it. Grab a drink. Oh, so we've got three, yes, three more blocks of work in our workout today. You got this. What's next, do you ask? So we're gonna be back down on the floor. You can use that band again if you want to, to make one of our exercises a little extra, or two, one exercise, both sides. We're gonna start with a prone cobra, or I think this is called a figurehead, I think, I've seen it called. I learned that it's called a prone cobra first, so that's what I tend to call it. Lots of exercises have multiple names. So you're gonna lie prone, arms at your sides, Toes flat on the floor. Squeeze your glutes. Brace your core as always. And you're just gonna lift everything up. Hold it, return it back down. Lift, hold, so really take your time, right? And that is our first movement. Then we're gonna do a side line clam. So if you want that band, first I'll show you without it. You can lie all the way down, or you can prop up if you want. And you're just gonna take your knees to 90 degrees and you're gonna hold onto the glutes. You're gonna drive into that heel and open up. Oop. Don't let your feet slip like I just did. Lift, squeeze. So if you wanna do the band, you're just gonna put that around your knees to add a little extra tension. Yes, that's different, right? So you decide how you wanna do it. Let's get ready, prone cobra, get set, and here we go. Timer is running 10 reps of each, or whatever you have found is your magic number. Just move. On that cobra, we're lifting the chest up toward the ceiling, lifting the legs. Squeeze that booty, brace the core. Ooh, yeah, feeling that? Oh 
Breathe it out on the way up, breathe it in on the way down. Oh yeah. You got it. We are 45 seconds in. Ooh. So then you've got that sideline clam with or without your band. I'm not gonna lie, the band feels a little awkward. It depends on, you know, what tension you've got that you're using. Try it out. Definitely add some tension. <laughs> it makes it a little bit harder. Remember, knees at 90. Press the heels together. Really squeeze the glutes. Oh yeah, see, I'm not using the band, and I'm definitely feeling that, especially after that last block that we did. Ooh, press, drive into that heel. Yeah. You got it. We are a minute and 35 seconds in. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Hey. So remember, think about your time. Think about how many reps you're doing. You can choose whatever number you want. But I want to make sure you get the same number on each side. Knees at 90, squeeze the booty, brace the core. Oh, I told you to put your hand on your glutes at nine and I didn't do it. That's all right. Not that important where you put that other hand, it's just for stability. You can put it in front of you, you can put it wherever it feels comfortable. You can just put it on your hip, you can put it up here. <laughs> if you feel like you need a little extra support for that booty, Put your hand back there. Woo, yeah, squeeze as you open. I know some of you have probably moved on. Back to that prone cobra. We are two minutes and 40 seconds in. Yeah, baby. Woo. So almost into our last minute. You've got your prone cobra, then you've got your sideline clam, one side, then the other side. Oh yes. Squeeze that booty. Feel every movement. Control and precision, team. Woo! Try to get a few reps in on each side here with that clam. Oh yes, 20 more seconds. So think about that. If you're on one side, make sure you're getting those reps in. Both sides. Ow, oh, yeah. 10 seconds now, come on, come on. Almost through it. Make sure I finish and even out. Three, two, one, and take a rest. Oh yeah, I think I got one more on this side. Woo, yes, amazing job. So up next, we're gonna do a single leg Romanian deadlift. If you want, if you want to add weights, you can hold dumbbells or kettlebells if that's your jam. You don't need them, right? We're gonna work that posterior chain, the hamstrings, the glutes, the lower back. So all you need to think about, stand up tall. Don't use weights for now. If you wanna add them, go for it. And you're just gonna hinge at the hips and send one leg back, right? Send your chest down toward the floor. You're just reaching down that way. Flex that back foot to keep that back leg engaged. Right, and when you start to feel wobbly, hold there for a second, and then come back up, really squeezing that booty at the top on the way back up, boom. Okay, so you're gonna do 10 on one side, 10 on the other side, then we've got a reverse tabletop. Take a seat, feet on the floor, hands under your shoulders, fingertips pointing towards your feet, and you're just gonna lift those hips, squeeze the glutes so you're a table, right, and then come back down. That's number three. Get ready, get set, and deadlift. 
Here we go. So just hinging at those hips, reaching down. Remember to reset every time. Shoulders back, chest lifted, core tight. Hinging at the hips. Now, if your range is small, that's okay. Because again, some of these things are balance exercises in addition to working those glutes and other things, right? And you can make it a bigger balance challenge by staying on that one leg the whole time or just step down every time you come in. And I know these move kind of slow. You want to move slow, right? Better to get fewer reps and just take your time and do them right. Ooh, yes. So if you do these all the time and you're used to doing them with weights and you're probably holding your dumbbells and that is just fine. You want to really make sure that you're keeping those hips square, right? Don't let your body open up as you tip. First minute done. Oh yeah. Do I have to sneeze? No, I don't. <laughs> yes, I do. Excuse me. Now oh, I'm allergic to deadlifts. Oh, baby. So you're feeling that in that leg yet? Oh, yes. I lost count, so I'm just gonna switch. <laughs> it's okay, it's more important for you <laughs> to get the right number in. It's your workout, I'm just here to show you the way. Hinge at those hips, reach down toward the floor, keep everything nice and neutral, neutral spine, neck in line with your spine, don't break your neck to look up, right? Keep that core engaged, squeeze that booty, really squeeze on the way up. Ooh, yeah. Little bend in that base leg of the knee. We are halfway through this block of work. Remember your third exercise. Your last one was that reverse tabletop. Just gonna take a seat on the floor, hands under the shoulders, fingertips pointing toward your feet. Just gonna lift that booty, big squeeze. I want you to also kind of think that you're trying to hold something in your armpits, right? To keep everything nice and stable there. Shoulders relaxed away from ears. Don't hunch up and don't round anything forward. Puff your chest up. Oh yes. Woo. So if you're on your tabletops and you're thinking about your deadlifts, we're almost in our last minute and they tend to move pretty slowly. So think about that. Do just a couple each side and just alternate, right? Last minute. Oh yeah. And 45 seconds to go. Woo. So again, if you're doing those deadlifts, just do a couple each side. Make sure you're resetting every time. Hinge at the hips. Send that leg back. Squeeze. Oh yeah. 25 seconds to go. Switch, I did a couple. Ooh, baby. 15 seconds. Hang in, hang in. So if you wanna hit all three, do a couple, do your tabletop. We've only got a few seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome work. I'm gonna get one more of these in. Woo, yeah. Take that rest, enjoy it. We've only got one more block of work to go. We're gonna spend all this time down on the floor. We've got a one-legged glute bridge or hip bridge, a lot of us like to call them. So if you do my classes regularly, you know I do the glute bridge pretty often and that there are a lot of variations on this bad boy. Today, we're gonna cross the right ankle over the left thigh, arms at your sides, palms up, and you're gonna lift and squeeze. Get your 10 reps, step, switch. Left ankle over the right thigh. Oh yeah, feeling that already. And a soft plank to really torch the core. 
elbows are gonna go under the shoulders. Find that low plank right here, and you're just gonna shift forward and back. If you're like, Emmy, there's no way that that's happening, that's okay. Knees, lift to toes. Try to get one, or just do these, right? Knees, lift to toes, knees, lift to toes. Let's do it, last one. Ready, set, and go. So we're doing that one-legged bridge first. Cross one side, over the opposite leg. Arms are at your sides, palms are up, so we're not trying to cheat and press into those hands. Oh yes, so big lift, big squeeze in the glutes at the top, lower down with control. So here's the thing about the glute bridge. I hear people say all the time, oh, these are easy. Well, that's because you're just kind of flopping, right? Big lift, big squeeze, and lower with control. Now you feel it, right? Now you feel the difference. It shouldn't be easy. We're working that posterior chain again, the hamstrings, the glutes, the lower back. Should definitely be feeling it in those glutes at this point because we've been hitting them pretty hard today. Almost through that first minute. Big lift, big squeeze, and then you've got your saw plank. After you finish these, if you're way faster than I am and you're already there, get it. Low plank with those elbows right under the shoulders and you're just gonna shift forward and back through the toes. Or remember your option. Planks are hard, just holding a plank at all is hard, is hard. right? So you can just lift to the toes, drop back to the knees. At least they move quickly though, right? 10, nine. Ooh, yes. Keep that body long and straight. Don't let your booty sneak up in the air. I know we're tired by now, you got this. Ooh, yeah. So we are almost halfway through this block. If that tells you where you need to be with your, <laughs> your two sides. Make sure you hit them both equally. Two minutes, 15 seconds in, 1.45 to go. Ow! Uh-oh, there's our cool down song. Dang it. <laughs> keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. We want that high energy. Ah, come on, come on, come on. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> oh, that wasn't even on my list. I don't know how I got to that. <laughs> We're two minutes and 40 seconds in. Stay focused. You guys, I'm sorry. I always get long-winded and take a little longer than I mean to. <laughs> so I time my music out and then I end up going over. I really do value your time. I know how it is, especially when you're trying to get that morning workout in, like right now. And I don't like to keep you late. I just like to make sure that we're all doing the exercises correctly. I know I get a little wordy. Oh, baby. So we are well into that last minute. You got 50 seconds to go. So think about that, wherever you are, whatever exercise or whichever side you're on, you got 40 seconds. Oh yeah. So you can do just a couple each side. You can alternate if you wanna. Oh yeah. 25 seconds. Twenty seconds. Twelve seconds. Almost there, team. Woo! We got this. Almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Yeah. So walk it off. Shake it out and then find your breath. Take that quick drink, just a couple seconds, we will cool down. If you have to go, because obviously I went a little bit over time, totally understand, thank you for being here. Promise me that you're gonna stretch as soon as you can, as soon as you get where you're going. Ooh, if you can stick around, please do. And let's stretch and recover. So set that water down, start to find that breath.
Here we go, just a quick little cool down. <sighs> In through the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> yes. Let's start with a quad stretch, grab hold of the toes. On one foot, press the heel into the glutes. Stand up nice and tall, knees close together to get the biggest stretch you can out of the front of that leg. Opposite arm out for balance. We're holding on to something. Oh yeah. And then let's step down and switch. Breathing in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Then let's step down. Come on down to the floor. And let's lie down. We spent a lot of our workout here. Gives us knees a hug. Now keep holding on to the right leg. Extend that left. Take the right arm out. And we're going to gently pull that right knee to the left side and look to the right. So right knee is gently pulled over to the left side. Your gaze is looking towards your right hand. Feels good right here. Reset it back to the center and switch. Grab hold of that left knee, extend the right leg. Take the left arm out to the side. Gently pull that left knee over to the right. And look over to the left. Feel that big stretch all through that left side of the body, especially in those glutes. Oh, that feels good. Bring it back to the center. And we have time. Yeah, go ahead and set those, those feet down. You're going to cross your right ankle over your left. Thigh, reach through, grab hold of the back of that leg and pull it in towards you. Press your right elbow into the right thigh. Both feet are flexed. Left shin parallel to the floor, and then we're going to extend that leg up for a hamstring stretch. Ooh, yeah. Big breath in. Exhale and release. And then same thing on the other side. Cross the left ankle over the right thigh. Come on up, reach through, grab behind that right leg, pull it in towards you, press that left elbow into the left thigh, both feet flexed, right shin parallel with the floor, and then extend that right foot up, stamp it on the ceiling. I'm gonna give you a little extra, extra stretch. I know I talked too long again. <laughs> that was a short cool down song though. Big breath in. Exhale, release, hug the knees one more time, brace the core, squeeze the glutes and rack up. And then we're gonna roll over, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, arch your back, hold it right here, and then press your belly down toward the floor. Relax your shoulders away from your ears, really press that belly down, lift your chest up toward the sky. Back to your flat back, bring the toes to touch behind you, open up the knees, sink your hips back, reach your arms forward as far away as they'll go. Nice child's pose here, big deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Cool, and if you've gotta go, that can be your last stretch. If you've got just a few more seconds, bring one leg through and find a hurdler stretch or a Z sit. You're gonna lift your chest and just lean in and then lean a little bit more if it feels good. And this should feel nice on the side of that front leg. Deep breath in, exhale it out and then switch. Bring that back leg forward, send the front leg back, lift your chest, lean in. This will be our last stretch, I promise. <laughs> Lean in a little more if it feels good. And gently come up and then we'll just gently come all the way up and shake everything out. Shake, 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 shake. 
awesome work today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Let me know what you thought. Leave me a comment, shoot me a message. I'm gonna put all of my social media information up there on the screen in case you're not already with me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and then also my PayPal and Patreon information. If you feel compelled to make a donation, I certainly appreciate it. No amount is too small. One-time contributions through PayPal, or you can sign up to be a Patreon patron and get access to some little extra fun things, extra content, recipes, uh, you get to pick class formats, all that good stuff. So I would love to hear from you and I will see you next time. Take care, stay safe, be well friends. Thank you again.